Infrared or IR spectroscopy measures molecular vibrations by recording what wavelengths of IR radiation get absorbed. The chemical bonds within molecules take different amounts of energy to move. This is linked to the vibrational mode of the chemical bonds. Stronger bonds absorb more energy than weaker bonds. In other words, stronger chemical bonds will absorb the light of a higher frequency and lower wavelength compared to weaker bonds. This happens because the energy of light is directly proportional to its frequency and inversely proportional to its wavelength. This also means that the wavelength of light that gets absorbed varies based on the type of molecule the light passes through. Through this process, an IR spectrometer produces an IR spectrum, where the y-axis is the intensity of absorption and the x-axis is the wave number. Each dip, also referred to as peak, in the spectrum corresponds to a wave number at which light has been absorbed by the sample molecule as the light has not reached the detector, which in turn causes this dip in the spectrum. The depth of the dip, or peak intensity as it is also called, is dependent on Bayer's law, which states that the absorbance equals absorptivity times the path length of the light and the concentration of the sample in question. Different functional groups absorb light at different wave numbers, and these we already know. Therefore, we can use this information to determine the presence as well as the concentration of these different functional groups. The region between 600 to 1400 is called the fingerprint region and tends to be complex with multiple bands that overlap each other. Above this region is where one can manually identify the presence of most functional groups. Spectra can also be compared digitally to digital spectral libraries that contain a large amount of reference spectra in order to find a match. If you now want to learn how to interpret one of these infrared spectrums, check out this video.